Hello friends, this video on fractions and decimals part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 4. Which is greater, 2 by 7 of 3 by 4 or 3 by 5 of 5 by 8? Now first of all, let us understand what do we mean by 2 by 7 of 3 by 4. This basically means 2 by 7 multiplied by 3 by 8. 4. So let's multiply the numerators. It is 3 to the 6. Let's multiply the denominators. It is 7 for the 28. So this is 6 by 28. So we can reduce it to its lowest form. So how can we reduce it? So let's write the factors of 6. 1, 2, 3 and 6. Let's write the factors of 28. That is 1, 2, 7, 14, 4 and 28. So these are the factors. So which is the highest common factor? So the highest common factor here is 2. So therefore we divide the numerator and the denominator by 2. So 6 divided by 2 would be 3 and 28 divided by 2 would be 14. So 2 by 7 of 3 by 4 is going to be 3 by 14. So this is one fraction which needs to be compared. The other fact fraction that needs to be compared is 3 by 5 of 5 by 8 which is equal to 3 by 5 into 5 by 8. So this is equal to 15 by 40. So again if you look at their factors 15 is 1, 3, 5 and 15 and 40 is 1, 2, 5, 4, 10, 8, 20 and 40. So which is the highest common factor? It is 5. So therefore we will divide the numerator and the denominator by 5. So this would be 3 and 40 divided by 5 would be 8. So this value would be 3 by 8. So now basically we have to determine whether 3 by 14 is greater or 3 by 8 is greater. Now when you compare these two, you see that these are unlike fractions. That is they have different denominators. So what we need to do, we need to ensure that we convert them into such fractions such that they both have same denominators. So in order to do that, we will take the LCM of both the denominators, right? So we take LCM of 8 and 14. And what is the LCM of 8 and 14? Let's find out. So let's say 8 and 14, 2 4 is 8, 2 7 is 14, 2 2 is 4, this is 7, 2 1 is 2, this is 7, and then 7 1 1. So basically the LCM would be 7 into 2 into 2 into 2, which is equal to 56. 7 to the 14, 14 to the 28, 28 to the 56. So LCM of 8 and 14 is 56. So now let us try to convert these two fractions into fractions which have same denominator. One is 3 by 14, the other is 3 by 8. So this 3 by 14, we multiply the numerator and denominator with a same whole number such that the result has a denominator 56. And the same thing we do it for 3 by 8 as well. So 14 into 4 is 56. Therefore, we multiply the numerator also by 4. So we get 12 by 56. 8 into 7 is 56. So we multiply the numerator also with 7. So we get 21 by 56. Now it is very easy to compare these two. One value is 12 by 56 and the other one is 21 by 56. Now we know that 21 is greater than 12, therefore 21 by 56 is greater than 12 by 56. So 21 by 56 is nothing but 3 by 8. So 3 by 8 is greater than 3 by 14. Question number 5. Sally plants 4 saplings in a row in her garden. The distance between two adjacent saplings is 3 by 4 meters. Find the distance between the first and the last sapling. So the question tries to say something like this. Let's say this is one sapling, this is another sapling, this is yet another sapling and this is the fourth sapling. 
so sally has planted these four saplings in one row one after another such that the distance between two adjacent saplings let's say the first sapling and the second sapling distance is 3 by 4 again second and third sapling distance is 3 by 4 third and fourth again the distance is 3 by 4 now the question is find the distance between the first and the last sapling so this is the first sapling this is where the last sapling is so we have to find out this entire distance so how would you find out this entire distance this entire distance is nothing but 3 by 4 plus 3 by 4 plus 3 by 4 which actually means that 3 by 4 is added 3 times which can be written as 3 by 4 into 3. So we multiply the numerators which is 9, we multiply the denominators which is 4. So the distance between the first and the last sapling is 9 by 4 meters. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.